Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebraic challenge and here we have n to the power of 12 minus 1 equals to 0. So here we find all the 12th root of this equation. Uh, so uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as we have n to the power of 12 and we write it as n to the power of 6 and it's all squared minus we write this one as 1 squared equals to 0. So here we use the nice square identity and you very well know about this identity. If we have a squared minus b squared, it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So we write it here. A squared minus b squared equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So we use this nice formula on the above term and our above term will be written as n to the power of 6 minus 1 times of n to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0. And now we convert this equation uh, uh, into cases so that our first case is we write n to the power of 6 minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write n to the power of 6 plus 1 equals to 0. So here we call this as equation number 1 and we call this as equation number 2. So uh, here we solve these two equations one by one. So now first we focus on uh, case number 1 or equation number 1. So in equation number 1 we have n to the power of 6 minus 1 equals to 0. So here uh, we again rewrite this equation as we write this n to the power of uh, 6 as n cubed and its whole squared minus 1 squared equals to 0 and here again we use uh, the squared identity and we write it as n cubed minus 1 times of uh, n cubed plus 1 equals to 0. So here we again divide this into cases so that our first case is we write n cubed minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write n cubed plus 1 equals to 0. So in the first case here we use the nice cubic formula and uh, you very well know about this formula and it is if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a squared plus a b plus b squared and similarly for this case we use the positive cubic formula it is a cubed plus b cubed equals to a plus b times of a squared minus a b plus b squared so we use these two nice formulas on the above two cases so first we use uh, First, we use this negative formula on this case and we obtain the output of this case is n minus 1 times of n squared plus n plus 1 equals to 0 because here we have 1 squared equals to 1 and similarly in this case uh, we get n plus 1 times of n squared minus n plus 1 equals to 0. So we have these two cases. So now we can solve parallel to these two cases. So here uh, we have uh, two factors. The uh, It is equals to 0. So we break or we write it as n minus 1 equals to 0 and n squared plus n plus 1 equals to 0. So in the first case, you get the value of n equals to 1 and in the second case uh, here we use the nice quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients so a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 1 and our quadratic formula is written as minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now we uh, substitute the values of a, b and c here and we get our n equals to minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 square root divided by 2. So here you easily get the other two roots are so first we simplify this term and you get minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2 because 1 minus 4 is minus 3 
and you know that if we have negative sign inside the square root so it will be equals to iota so you get here minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2 so we have these are the two complex roots of the given equation so now we uh, move towards this case so in the first case we get two solutions in which one are real and we get three solution in which one are real and other two solutions are complex solutions so now in this case uh, again we get our n plus 1 equals to 0 and we get n square minus n plus 1 equals to 0 so in this case you easily get n equals to minus 1 so this is the fourth root of given equation and again we have uh, this is the our uh, quadratic equation so we use the quadratic formula and we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 1 so we put these a b c three values in this quadratic formula and we get the value of n equals to minus b so b is minus 1 so this minus times of minus is plus 1 and plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 1 and minus 1 square is plus 1 minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here we easily get the roots are 1 plus minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2 so we obtain n equals to 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2 so these are the two complex roots of the given equation so here we find the six roots of the given equation so these two are real and these four roots are complex roots so now we move towards case number two so in case number two or equation number two we have n to the power of six plus one equals to zero so now we move towards equation number two and our equation number two is n to the power of six plus one equals to zero and now we rewrite this equation as n squared and its whole cubed plus one cubed equals to zero so here we use mm, again the nice cubic formula which we write above so uh, we have the output of this equation is n squared plus one times of n to the power of four plus n squared plus one equals to zero so we again divide this in two cases so that our first case is we write n squared plus one equals to zero and the second case is we write n to the power of 4 plus n square plus 1 equals to 0. So in the first case you get n squared equals to minus 1 and we get the value of n equals to plus minus iota. So here we get two complex roots of the given equation. So uh, now we focus on this equation and this equation uh, will become uh, quadratic in n square so we cl clarify this one in this one so we write n to the power 4 as n square and its whole square plus n squared plus 1 equals to 0 so this equation becomes quadratic in n square so we use the quadratic formula and first we write the coefficients of this equation and the coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to 1 and our quadratic formula looks like n squared equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here we substitute the value of a b and c in this equation so uh, we get n squared equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so b is 1 minus 4 times of a and c is 1 it will become minus 4 divided by 2 so we obtain n squared equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 so we again take Scale, you square root on both of the sides and you get n equals to plus minus square root of minus 1 plus minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2. So these are the other roots of the given equation. So here we uh, get total 8 roots of the given equation. So this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.